Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here with Acrylic Painting Monday. This is the day of the week where we just explore different techniques in acrylics, learn new things. We're going to we're gonna have fun today because what we're going to do is kind of, did your mother ever use the expression, let your hair down? Oh. Just going to kind of, uh, let your hair uh, down. this is not a precise painting. This is something I think anybody could do. And I think that you know, when you paint with really bright colors, sometimes it could just lift your mood. And that's what we want to do, lift our mood and and kind of relax and just get into the feel of kind of throwing paint. Sound fun? <laughs> I, I knew you'd like it. So uh, uh, if John would be so kind as to move, move the, the camera, camera down, down to our table. table. This was my reference uh, photo. And I thought it was really pretty with all these uh, kind of water droplets and these uh, flowers. And I thought, what can I do with this photo that would just be happy? Because uh, the colors made me really happy. And I thought, maybe we could do something with this and explain why we would want to change it a little bit, okay? Just because you have a reference photo doesn't mean you're stuck with it, but you can use that as inspiration. And that's what I'm going to show you today is how to find inspiration in a reference photo and kind of create your own thing. So. Um, I think you guys are going to have fun with this because you'll be able to create a different painting probably every time you do it because no two paintings will be the same. It will be fun to see what you do. Uh, we always enjoy looking at your artwork when you are a member of our Acrylic Painting Club on uh, Facebook, even if you really just hate Facebook for all the reasons that people hate it. Our club is one of the reasons you might want to join. Just to be part of our club, see what other artists are doing, get inspiration from them, and kind of see how, uh, you, you know, tips and wonderful things. Uh, we've got great moderators. Only kind words are allowed in our Facebook club. And so it's a very safe place to show your art where someone's going to say, oh, my gosh, why do they paint that? None of that will happen here. So anyway, in the meantime, uh, I want to introduce uh, John to our um, – he's our uh, – He's on camera. No, and I'm, not. I'm not on camera anymore. He's not on camera anymore. So we're not seeing John, but he's the one. No. He, that's the voice that's answering your questions. And what we're doing is if you have a question and, and you're part of our live chat audience, uh, you want to make sure you put them in capital letters. We have moderators. A lot of times they know the answer. If they've answered it, then take it that they answered it. Probably they did answer your question. But, uh, but if you have a question, uh, John will relay it to me. And we're on a 9 by 12 canvas. It's just sort of painted uh, this uh, blue color from, we're using the uh, Salvador paints today because they have lots of colors in them. Uh, and also this uh, one of Salvador's going to, we'll do a drawing for one of these uh, Salvador ki paint kits through the courtesy of Salvador um, later on in the show. And also a downloadable lesson. We've got some new things to show you. And um, who's our mods today, John? We have Liz 1, Liz 2, and Steffi are in the house right now. Well, hi, you guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. Last week when Steffi was there, she still had snow. I hope it's melting. <laughs> and um, uh, That's so, so silly. So just any old blue background. If you got a light turquoise blue background, that's fine. Don't stress about how I didn't get quite the exact color. This is, remember, this is... We're going general here. Sometimes when you're feeling a little uptight about painting and you're thinking, well, I'd paint, but then I'd, I'd, I would, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't. Sometimes just relaxing, letting loose with something shh, is the thing to do. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got pretty pretty much all the blues in the Salvador kit, some purples. I, I went ahead and did add the, uh, the luminous rose from Holbein because that's your really bright pink. And a magenta, but pretty much this is pretty much standard uh, colors that we have. And we've got a few sponges um, from you know, these are just natural sea sponges. But before we get into that, I want to just a big brush. Have you ever seen a brush like that? Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Is, we're going to take a big brush and wet it, and I'm going to just take white. Can you get that little speck of? Stuff off the canvas, thank you. What white and maybe this uh, touch of a light blue, right? Let's just come across here with some sweeping strokes like that. Don't, don't you don't have to go down too far. Kind of leave yourself an arc about like shh, like that. Let's about let's like just chalk that in so you can see it. Okay. Kind of leave yourself an arc about like that. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. So a little water on the brush, a little bit of white, tiny bit of blue. There we go. We want some streaks. Okay, like that. And here's the trick. 
people think that you you do this with a brush. You, big long strokes come off the canvas, start on the off the canvas. Okay, let's take a little bit of that color, maybe a little bit of that green. Mix those together and see what we get. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's just sort of make a rainbow of colors. A little bit of that light green, a little bit of that blue, and some white. Now, when I did that background, it's uh, mainly brilliant and blue. So it works brilliant blue and white. Okay. Well, all right. So there, there you go. See, I'm going to put a little bit more of these kind of blue colors in here like that. Okay, maybe we'll do a little bit of a purple, maybe a magenta somewhere. Let's take a little of that, just kind of suggest a color here like that coming down. Ooh, that's pretty. Like I say, every time you do it, you'd get something a little bit different. Just, I, I believe so. Okay, now I've got, that's a little too white. Let's get some, we don't want this real white. We want it to be kind of more of a grayed white. So let's get some color in that just a tiny bit like that. Here we go. Pull some color in this. Because we want the white dots to show up. And if you get that too white, it, it won't show up, right? You guys kind of with me on that? Yeah, we are painting on a 9 by 12 canvas tonight. Okay, here's that. That's sort of pretty. Let's do a little bit more white and blue with that now. Okay, that's, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, now I'm going to kind of rinse the paint off the brush and then wipe it on a rag. I think I've got a big rag around here somewhere. There's a paper towel if I don't, see, like that. Now I've just got a damp brush. Now look what happens. Just a damp brush. Just going to come over it like that and go blend, 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 blend. Yes. Yes and yes. Okay, I know you're blending. There, see, got to kind of put now, if I've got that and I can see where, now let's put a few more colors in, barely touch it, a couple like that. This is Art Sherpa number 40, isn't it, or something? Yeah, this is Art Sherpa number 30. 30. Okay. I guess. Here's Which a little number bit of green. really doesn't mean too much. A little bit of green here. A little bit over an inch bright. Mm -hmm. But you could use any any old bright brush. It just this It's a little easier a to do one. something like this because it's, it's a big one, okay? We're going to come down here now. I'm going to switch brushes on you and maybe use a smaller brush, but you know, just whatever you happen to have. And let's just take some water on this one. And I know that, for instance, I want to take some white and kind of a like a magenta color, kind of something like this. I want to just come up from the base of this, like that, like that, just okay. Now, because red and green are complements. When you mix them together, you get muddy colors. You don't want that. So we can have a little bit of light green over here, but we have to be so careful. See what happened, how it got all muddy real quick? All of a sudden. Just all of a sudden got muddy. So um, might just kind of stay away from that, that spot in there like that. Might put a bit of this blue and green over here. There's some, some blue here like that. Kind of stay away a little bit from that okay now i want some other colors in here but i have to be kind of careful because i don't want to um get into this wet purple and that's where that's what happens to artists as they get into trouble you've got to be able to dry stuff um if you need to um get in the habit of drying things because if you don't um, what will happen is, is that you won't get, you'll say, well, I don't understand why my colors didn't come out like hers did. Okay, and here's a bit more blue here. We'll just come up like that then lift up. So you just do something like this and lift. But I want to leave the spot in here a little bit lighter. So I was going to use a sponge, but honestly, John, I think, I think if I, well, I think I can use a sponge in here. Let's just dry this real quick. You guys with me on that? Let's take about a minute and, uh, uh, I want to dry this little bit right here, okay? <sighs> that didn't take long. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a sponge here. I'm going to wet it, wring it out. Make sure that it's just damp. We're going to put a little, take a palette knife. We're going to put a little paint on it. 
And I think the color I want to put on is um, maybe some white. Uh, I just want sort of a peach color. Just kind of white, red, and, and um, yellow. Okay, let's just do that. Some sort of peach color, okay? Right in here like that. And let's put a little bit of more white with it. Now I'm going to just come along here like this. I'm just using, just kind of wrinkle up the sponge a bit. Just going to do a little bit of that right there. And then I want to take a little bit of this peach color. Since I'm still in the oranges, peaches, I can, there's a little pink. So I can do a little bit of pink here because I'm in the peach colors. I haven't gotten into the greens. And so I'm going to just do a little bit of this, kind of this pretty pink in here like this. Maybe come down here like that. See, ooh, that's kind of nice, right? And uh, could I get away with anything else? Um, oh, could, let's see, where's our paint? I think we didn't put any orange out. Let's get a little orange color. That's that color, I want orange. Here, let's try this. Here we go. A little bit of orange. Let's try a little bit of orange, kind of a light orange, just kind of orange and white. I'll put some right here on this part. And if I just touch it and go up, I'm okay. All right. An explosion of color. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly so, John. It's an explosion of color. Absolutely. So we're going to kind of come this way with it. Okay, so that's that's I think similar to what this is, don't you think so? You kind of feel that that's what we kind of portrayed a little bit. Now, if I wanted to do green, I would have to be very careful. Could do it. Could do a little green over here, kind of green and blue. But I have to be very careful. I would recommend you dry it before you try it. But we're gonna for we're gonna same, go for it. We're gonna go for it. A little bit of this blue. A little bit of this green, like that. We got a little bit of that color coming up there. That's pretty. If I did this, what happened? You're in the danger zone. I'm in the danger zone. All right. So there, I, I, there, pretty much, kind of a kaleidoscope of color. Yes. So I put those, but you can use those sponges over and over again. So I just put them in water. This sponge was damp. Yeah, you they're all. You damp. can't do a dry sponge. Yeah, gotta have a damp sponge, and then you you can buy these little. Um, Please make sure you put those in the water. Yeah, I haven't used any of these okay. over here. The ones we've used are in the water. Thank you. And uh, so now I'm gonna just set this up here for a minute. We're gonna talk about this painting. Okay, this is the part where you're thinking, why did I turn into this channel? Look. We can show you how to paint, but I want you to understand why you're painting something. Because it doesn't, I don't care how many times I show you, if you don't understand why you're doing it, then you won't do it the next time. It's not going to help you. Um, so I want to show you why we're doing something. All right, so you've got a, you found a reference like this, okay? And I want you to see, uh, we're going to just, um, I want you to see, see this arc that it's doing here? Like that, okay? Well, that's a little bit like wallpaper. Because there's nothing, there's not one flower that's more important than another one. All right. So what we need to have happen is we need to have one of these flowers, one of these in here, be a little bit bigger, maybe a little lower, and and be the our focal point. We need one in here. You you want to break this line up. I don't think you can really see it with the white. Maybe I've got a black something I can use. Yeah. So you're talking about you want one of these flowers in here 
to be, you know, it's going to come down like that. So it's in front. It's got to be in front of these. It's got to become the star of the and show. And it's got to become the star of the show, not just, otherwise you're just painting wallpaper. All right. Now you see, I've, even just with this black pen here, I've got a little depth, right? See that? I've got a little depth because this one's in front of those. And then, of course, you would um, go ahead and have, the, you know, your most contrast here. So, um, well, it's not going to show up, but here, let me just take my finger and do this. <laughs> there, see? See what I mean? So that one um, works pretty good, doesn't it, your finger with these little dots? You didn't know that, right? But see, now you can kind of see where that's a better design than just this, because this is just all one row. There's this little one back here, but it's it's not enough. He's too far back. It's too far back. All right. So that's the idea behind this. All right. Please Any questions? Your, please clean your fingers, please. Oh, yeah. Cleaning the fingers. A good thought, John. So so you guys kind of see that. Yes and yes. I get it now. And uh, that's that's the whole idea behind, say, something like this. You know, when do you use this? It's all still pretty wet. Do you see that? Um. Why don't you show us something that we're doing coming up on the... Yeah, let me show you some stuff that's coming up in our academy. Um, th those of you know that last week we did the... This last past week we did the Van Gogh Sunflowers. Uh-oh. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We did the Van Gogh Sunflowers. T releasing this week, toward the end of the week, right? We're on Monday, toward the end of the week. We've got our panda bear. Is he yes, not Andy fun? Panda. Andy Panda. Is he not fun? Um, that's, a, you know, I think that was a two cookie, uh, you know, pretty easy lesson. I think that we, we needed a couple of those kind of fun, simple ones. And I thought he was really cute. And he kind of goes, you know, if those of you who've gotten caught up in the animal uh, genre this, this month of painting the bunnies and everything, the Easter bunnies and everything, this was sort of fun. And then we have coming up after that, I don't think, is this one right away? The, the donkey? Uh, coming no. up, I think he's in the, he's in the wings somewhere. He's somewhere, and I don't think right after the panda. But no, this, he's not right after the panda. He's not. But this is another one that's that's a new release, and uh, in our academy of fine art and acrylic painting. And um, what's neat about this was it's originally an old dead artist, um, one of somebody in eight, yeah, born in oh gosh, eighteen thirty or something, um, that originally uh, painted this in the mid eighteen hundreds. And I love it because it could be a donkey on a beach today and in um, Europe or in Mexico or uh, 100, 150 years ago. How cool is that? So that's a precious donkey that's coming up, a couple of the animal ones. Um, this last week also, John's going to show you, uh, when we were on our trip, I don't remember which is which, do you? Yes, I do. Put one out. Huh? The one on your right, it's a new one. Okay. So we've got these, uh, we have... Uh, our photo challenge, which we invited, and we're going to show you a little bit about that later. We had a lot of participants in this. They just got a black and white photo, and that was the one of the lessons that we re released, a step-by-step -step on how to do the water for both the Wave and Water Masterclass and um, uh, our regular uh, Academy members, and of either pink, purple, or um, red and uh, blue. So, And this was the, the probably one of the first ones I did, and then I went ahead and I did it again and uh you know a little bit more detail so those are the some of the things that have are being released cool right all right so i think we're pretty good here going back to your little illustration you were talking about chris j asked a question uh -huh. is that where your lightest lights and your darkest darks would be well yes um yeah you there would be something. something that would cause it to, to to be there for instance if you if you're wearing a white shirt and you put a, a a pen in your pocket and you get an ink stain no one notices the shirt they just notice the stain your eye goes first to the lightest light and the darkest dark so you kind of want to focus those around your center of interest you can have other lights and darks but you want to focus that around the, the center of interest the most contrast maybe something's more out of focus the different different ways to do that all right so uh, this isn't quite dry, but I think it's I think it's good enough for what we want to do. Now I want I want to take a kind of a what we call a kind of a liner 
a brush like this and uh, maybe for trees and I want uh, I want to take um, probably some magenta and uh, and I'm just gonna hold it up here like this like that there you go and say here's one of these right there just there we go like that and a, a brush like this this is actually came from the um, Salvador um, paint kit okay so I know that I've got um, I think what we're going to do is put a dot where we're going to start these I've got that one there I'm going to have one here one down here got one here got one here and like that so I want to just kind of start these where they're going to go okay and you can do these beautiful long strokes with that something like this so let's let's put a little bit of that you need quite a bit of water with this when you're doing it. So I know that, for instance, I want one up here, and I want some of the lighter colors first in the background, like that. This is going to be back here in the background. I'm just going to do this. And you push and lift up, push and lift up. Airplane taking off. Yeah, exactly. So like an airplane taking off, right? And um, so we're just going to say that there's uh, some here, and we know we've got one back up in here like this and get ready to do a drawing or something John so that we can dry something okay so I'm going to say I know I want one here kind of in the background just going to put some of these up here like that you will not appreciate what a brush like that that's a really quite a wonderful thing these these brushes and um Oh, let's see. I know I want sort of I want to apply one. I've got one here. Let's see. I know we're going to have one here. Let's take a little bit of the, the kind of that orange color with some red. OK, and I've got one. It's coming out. Starting this way. There we go. And it just maybe it's a little narrower. OK, like that. And um, let's go back to this color. I think we said we just we're going to have one here. Mm -hmm. Find yourself, get the water on here. You know, do that. And barely touch it. This is just um, barely touch it. Okay. And because you want these to. We want some of this in the background. I might take a little white here, even back here. Here, let's take a little white in there. A little water. To get this a little runny. And uh, there's something way back here like that. Okay, I'm just going to do up here like that. And, it just, and some of these I want going to go way up here, but we're not quite ready for those yet. These are just sort of our background pieces, yeah? foundation as it were yeah foundation we got to have somewhere where we're going to go right we know we're going to go up at least as high with some of these right so uh but we did we did want some color in here and then i know i want a little bit of color down in here like this and one of this and i can i can just add that a little bit of magenta probably just take my finger and tap that in there like that and maybe Ooh, make that a finger darker. painting make that a little darker Let's take a little bit of the purple color. There we go. It's just a little bit darker. Ooh, double fingered. Yeah, double fingers. Now that's a little bit darker than I want, so that's okay. This is. I want you to have fun with this. So, so here you go. There's a little light on there. So we want to imply that maybe there's something back in here that we're not talking about. Okay. So. Okay. The finger, fingers can be fun, too. We're going to do just, a marathon just, just, just finger paint. Just tap that on there like that. So, Because, again, we want a little bit of these colors. And I, I'm very inspired by this. Um, uh, there we go. There's a little bit of that color just sneaking in there somewhere. But you gotta, you've got to watch it because you don't want to get it too close to anything else. All right. So we're going to say some muddy. of that color is in here. Almost kind of like coral, isn't it? Yeah. 
It feels a little bit like maybe so a coral like reef or something, I'm doesn't it? I'm thinking like we need to have a turtle or something to go swimming by. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So uh, John's <laughs> going to do a drawing from last week. Uh, if those of you who entered in our uh, for a, a Salvador paint kit, I'm going to dry this right now, all right? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I told you to get ready. Were you not ready? I'm always ready. All right. There you go. Wait, i got to find your mic. I'm going to dry this now. Uh, you turned off. All right, guys. Here we go. It's drawing time. Yay! We use the YouTube random comment picker. It was not a nose picker. This is the video we did, we did last week's hopeful day. You guys remember that with the umbrella? There you go. First thing you do is you get the link. You bring it over the random picker. Put that in. No duplicates. The five will work. And we're basing it on... We'll do the Salvador kit first. Salvador kit. And we'll see what we got. We have 30 people. One. Wait a minute. Here's our mic. There we go. And let's see who the winner is of the Salvador kit this week. It'll be the big tube kit this week. And that's going to go to Carol Milburn. Carol, if you're out there, you used to contact us on acrylic painting with gingercook.com and let us know that you are a Salvador winner and leave, give us your mailing address. Save the other one. Yeah, save the other one. We're, we're about ready here. Okay. So we got, we're still, uh, my, is my microphone on? I believe it is. All right. So we want to, we'll, we have another we're drawing for a downloadable lesson and uh, that will be coming uh, up shortly. Coming up shortly. So now we want a kind of a smaller brush here. Oh, the brush that you were using was a Salvador brush, liner brush, and that is a soft bristle. It is not stiff at all. No, it's very stiff. It's very, but they, they call those kind of like tree, you know, tree limb brushes or script, but they're called scripts, really. Yeah. They're called script brushes. A lot of different people make them. But I mean, that's one of the best ones I've found, and it's right there in the, right there in in the, the Salvador kit. Right there in the Salvador kit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our, Going to take a little bit of purple and red. Oh, wait, we have a few donations come in. Let's give a big thank you to Sandra. Thank you both for helping me become a better artist. My oh. lifelong goal. Well, thank you, Sandra. Glad we could be of service to you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very we much. We'd also like to thank Anna Maria. Thank you, Miss Anna Maria. And we have one more. And that was from Yvonne. Thank you very much, each and every one of you. They all use the PayPal system. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Very, very nice. Thank you. All right. What I want to do now is put on some stems to some of these. I want to just suggest a stem here. I think I want to just let's just do the dark green here. Kind of come no, up here like brown. this, kind of ignore it. Looks a little brown because I had some red with it. <laughs> I, say, I had some red with it quick. first, right? I think we'll come back into purple because I had some red with that. Um, this is why you dry. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a cup like that. I want the purple. I want purple. Let's see. Let's try some blue and that. I want a purple color. There we go. There's our the stem here. Um, we've got some stems coming up. They're coming off the canvas like this, like that. Now you notice that the ginger has gone to her favorite angle brush, bristle on three eighths inch, I would believe. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Is that it's a stiffer bristle? You don't want to be so whimsical. Jolene, thank you very much for a donation that came in through the Super Chat. Hey, you. Hey, you back back at you. Yeah, so thank you very much for that. That's awesome. Let's try a blue, blue one now. Let's try some blue. That's one thing that's nice about the Salvador kit. Well, all the colors are right there. Anything you want, anything you, you want to have. You can them and go. You can go, yeah, you can blow, yeah, blow and go. That's, that's it, John. Blow and go. Um, 
we want to suggest that there's maybe one back here that's not so let's see let's just just put a let's just a little bit of water on this one just suggest there's somebody back here he's back in the shadows yeah you know and uh i want something orange i love the orange ones uh some reds And uh, let's get some purples. Okay. So now what I ha what I want to do with those is I'm going to take some white. Now we did have one person make a comment that they look very pastel colors. Is that because you're using water? To me, they don't look that pastel. It's just your choice of colors. Well, you know, what's a pastel? You know, they're pinks and greens, light greens. They're pastel. Yeah, sure. They're pastel. That's all right. They're pastel. We haven't put any of the dark contrast in yet, so they're still pastels. Yes and yes. Very light. Light and airy. You know, what I'm going for here is um, um, kind of some, you know, some, now we're kind of filling in a little bit some of the color up here, a little bit of bolder brush strokes, right, like that, sort of filling some stuff in, like that. And uh, uh, gonna have some back here. I just don't want to talk about it as much, right? So, yeah. So we're still in. You're, you're absolutely right. We're still in the pastels. We'll be a little bit in the oranges. Oops, too much. Where's that color coming from? There we go. <laughs> that was a bold statement you made. Yeah, so now the thing about something like this is because we're doing all these um, different colors, um, I want to just get some reds going here. Um, let's see, let's get something a little bit brighter red. I may have to dry this for a second. Once you do another drawing, well, I'm going to dry this. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 one more second. Let me, let me push my buttons. Okay. I need to dry this. Yeah. So I can't put more colors no. over till they're dry. No. no problem. You go. All right, Queen's gone. I'm back. Yay! Next one is, I believe it was Hope. Is the other word? Yeah. And that will be for a downloadable lesson, which will be. Why don't we do our new one we're doing now, which is our wave and water one we're doing? So that might be a treat for somebody. And it's hope, and we have 70 people involved with that one. And the, we're giving the Wave and Water one away today, by boss. Yes. The new release one. The new release one? Well, wait yep. till they see it, then let me back it up so I can show them to them. Did you you have it with you? Yes. Ah. Well, Margaret Weeby is the winner of the downloadable. And this is the downloadable lesson that you'll be, no, no, not that one. No. No, this one was just releasing. Not that one. Goodness gracious. No, I didn't even been edited yet. I don't know, John. It's, it's the Wild Forest one. I one? will bring it up and I'll pop it over. John, I'll show you guys what it is. I don't have it with me. All right? Yeah. All right. So we're, we're good here, right? Wild. So, all right. So let's let's Wild play Wild. a little bit more with this now. And um, I want some deep red here. I want some cad red medium. I want, there you go. All right, so. Okay, and I want some red with that. I want that darker. Here we go. I want that one to be very red. Okay. Right like that. And. I want some of my purple color up in here too. Okay, there we go. That's it. We're getting there, you guys. All right, so now what I want to do is take that fun little skinny brush that we had. And uh, let's just take some, uh, I want some tiny little lines, right?
So let's see. Um, we want that, then you've got to kind of reshape it. So shape the brush. So let's see, lots of water. Now we're getting the little lines, here we go, that we want like that. You're getting the little stringies. So we need the little stringy ones. You're using a very general, gentle touch with it, right? Oh, absolutely. You're barely, you're barely touching this. You know, the harder you push, the fatter the, fatter the, line. the line. So you've got to get, you know, you've got you to develop. You want wispy ones. You want, you want the real wispy ones. You can change colors a little bit if you want. Like maybe over here, do the, the blue ones. But you want to shape your brush and uh, like that. Just... And shape your brush. There we go. Now we're starting to. Starting to get some feeling in this one. Well, you've got to have, you have to be able to shape your brush. So that means you have to roll it like that so that you don't have globs of paint on it, or you will not have the results you wanted. The higher, the higher ones are here. Now, would a dagger brush work as well? Might. Could try it. Just see what works for you. There's a lot of different brushes that'll do this, but I. You have found that that particular liner is a very good one. Yes. Here we go. Here's some blue coming up here like that. You're kind of blocking my view on my angle. My side Sorry. Angle. So I want to come up. Okay, there. Let's come up with some reds up here through our. Let's see. There's some magentas. Again, shape the brush. Okay. Keep going. Too much. You get a glob of paint, you won't get the fine line, right? Everybody's with me on that. Yes and yes. Okay. Now again, I have I haven't put my center one in yet. Right now, I'm just putting in these back ones. You're putting the supporting cast. And so I'm going to take my finger. And I'm going to just. I think I want my little finger, a smaller finger here, like that. Turn my little finger. Hmm. We want to vary the size of these d dots. Your little finger is probably just about it for this. You can put some on with a brush, but this this is pretty good here. Okay, let's try my index finger and see how I do. Just tap it off and then do it. Yeah, put the paint on, then sort of tap it off and just sort of press it. Barely touch it. We'll do if you want a few small ones too. Well, this is kind of fun. Come on, this is fun, isn't it? Don't you think so? You know, just, just we're, we're going for loosening up. Now have some touch, right? You know, don't, don't they're not stars on a flag. Yes. Don't do them in a row. Yeah, no in a row. Let's get a let's get a Random paintbrush. Random sizes. Random sizes. Let's just get a paintbrush of some kind and uh, put the rest on. Okay. There's several ways that you can apply these little dots. You could you could put them on with a brush. Put them on with a brush. You can put them on with a Q-tip. You can put them on with a stick. I mean, use your imagination. The whole idea behind this is to have you loosen up a bit. Now, one of the things I want to do here, like for instance, like right in the middle here of these, a couple of these, we want some dots right here in the middle of these. Okay. So, and. Uh, it takes a little patience. Yes. Some of these might be. Well, any fine painting would. You know, you know, so here's here's some that just got a little bit of a blue color to them. Who, whose white are you using? Is it a zinc white? Yeah, zinc white. 
It's a zinc white. No, it's not the zinc white. It's the titanium. We don't have any zinc out. Oh. We have no zinc so that's, out. So that's Golden's? Golden's uh, titanium. It's Golden's titanium. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Eric, for the donation that came in through Super Chat. And your question is, why are artists so good at self-control? Because they always know where to draw the line. Oh, that's a good one. We like that, Eric. That's an excellent one. And anybody know what these flowers are called? No, they're, we're, we made them up. They were These are not real things in the photograph either. This is an abstract. These are not anything. This is an abstract photograph of flowers. They're not nothing. Okay? They're not called anything, you guys. They're called imagination flowers. That way, if you have them a little different than mine, they're your imagination, yes? And they're still perfect. They're still perfect, yeah? So here's our... Um, if ever you want to just change the dots, okay? Okay, all right. So now I want to, of course, I are you ready to draw something or what? No, have you done all the drawings? I've done all the drawing. You've done all the drawing. Well, maybe you could draw for another downloadable then, John. Right. Oh, no, you know what you can do is you can show the um. The play, yeah. The, yeah, let's show. Um, we want to show you some of our artists that entered our contest. We'll be having another one. Um, as soon as I get a chance to put it together. Yeah. So now here, I'm going to take the back of the brush now here. And I'm going to make a few smaller dots. See that? Just dip the brush in the paint. Somebody mm -hmm. said, what, what are the different ways you can do it? That's another way. See? We'll just have some of these be. not small enough. Some of these aren't, yeah, some of these are a little smaller. How many cookies is this? One. <laughs> you can't do this one wrong, guys. You, you, this has got to be no one cookie. no precision at all in this. Yeah, it's a one cookie. Come on, it's got to be certified. I wanted, I just, people are saying they just couldn't loosen up getting, they wanted to get into spring and they weren't loosening up. And I thought, well, what could we do? Okay. So I'm going to dry that. Let's see, let's just do a couple more here. <laughs> just because yeah, I'm. somehow that's. What's yeah, see, case? all right, so we're going to dry that, and then we're going to put a few little, little uh, shadows on those dots, all right? And John's going to show you something really cool. I'm going to play a video, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Be right yeah. back. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here, and I'm excited to uh, bring you this uh, painting tutorial of uh, two girls on the beach. And it was also our spring challenge. And the genesis of this was when John and I were in uh, Cozumel, uh, he was lucky enough to capture a photo of two little kids playing. He'd got a lot of, uh, probably 20, 30 photos of these two girls playing on the beach. And um, I thought it would make a great painting even though if John will show you, can show you what the original photo was, we're happy to show you that. I, I went ahead and kind of worked out the colors and I said, I wonder what other people would do with that. That's the genesis of our challenge where you could take the girls and put them in any setting you wanted. And I was so pleased that all the different ideas that people had, because you know, you can teach a technique, you can't teach imagination. And so I want to congratulate everybody who participated and, uh, this was just a great idea. Uh, today, when I um, uh, play with uh, this uh, this painting again, I'll do it on another 9 by 12 canvas, and I thought it would be fun to uh, make blondes instead of brunettes this time. I'm going to show you how to do the blonde hair. And we're going to do something very interesting. And I want to show you why, because this is key. If you change the hair color, for instance, here's a black and white of the girls. You see that with the white t-shirts, so forth. But if you turn them into blondes, for the contrast, you have to have dark t-shirts and light shorts. Does that make sense? So that's just, just one little tip I'm gonna give you. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial on this, and which will be available in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting for our pink, red, purple, and blue members. Now, when we take a look at the what the people did that participated in the challenge, okay. they're available right on the website here. 
you go under the blog listing and you're going to do challenge artist showcase archives. We'll have plenty more of these as we get going. And this is the Playa de Carmen each time. And these are what some of the students did. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I want to show you the original photograph. This is what they were given. That photograph there. And then let's take a look at some of the artwork they came up with. This is what Wanda did. This was Vicky. And she flipped it. Totally, totally different perspective on it. Uh, tint. Oh, and she's got someone building a sand yeah, castle. Yeah, sand castle, bucket and everything. That's yeah. great. Totally, totally imagination there. Yeah, and there's and the here's blonde somebody that did the blondes. Yeah. A little dirty blonde. So it was dark enough that the contrast was still there. That was Susan. This is Nanette. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and I tell you, Nanette is probably, you know, had a very similar idea to mine. And, yep. uh, same idea. Same idea, yeah. Is Michelle. Okay. See, everybody had a little bit different take on this particular painting. And that's what we wanted to see. Now, this is really out of the box. Lorraine, she took it, flipped the kids, gave it a bird, and get a long horizontal. You see, so sometimes when you're looking at reference photos. Don't um, be stuck by the photo. Yeah, don't be stuck by the photo. Oh, look at this one. Who did that? This is Catherine's. Wow, love the colors. You see, that's almost a rainbow day at the beach, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Gwen. Yeah. And I'll tell you something, too. Oh, who's this? This is Deborah. That's a very realistic one. Yeah. Look at the two different colors of it, hair, it, pants. Every, I mean, she really thought outside the box on that one. She did. And, and here's something interesting about that, uh, um, about that, is that if you're taking commissions to paint children, you can tell from how, how well these are done but children from behind are pretty easy to do. And if you don't show the faces and just change the hair a little bit, they can be anybody's kids. And so... Um, and that's what a lot, of the, a lot of these students did with that. So that they, a lot of them, you know, decided they wanted to look like their grandchildren, someone that they knew. Oh, look at that one. Who did that? That's Christine. And she had a bucket in hers. Cute. Playing in the sand. Kathy. Yeah. Oh, and Annette. And, and she, she has little crabs on hers. <laughs> yeah, she's just going out to the sea and so forth. And, yeah. And I'm very neutral. And, and this is another Anne. Wow. Isn't this great, you guys? I mean, aren't you impressed with how well they've done? And these are going to be the certificates for everybody. Yep. They've and, got their name goes in there, and that's the certificate they get for participating in this particular challenge. The Beat Times Challenge. And if you guys like this, we'll do more of these. Oh, yeah. Like, we got more. More More, more, more coming. And I just... I'm just so proud of all of you who participated because you can see that this was a very doable project. A lot of people get to see people and they get very frightened about the idea of it. And you can see that um, everybody did just a marvelous job. And uh, maybe if, if you're new to the Academy or to um, taking up challenges, maybe next time after you'll be very encouraged by seeing the results and want to play uh, with us uh, for the next challenge. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how I would, uh, uh, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on on uh, how I would paint, how, how to paint this and how I painted this one, okay, and why. Okay, so you guys, wasn't that neat? Didn't you love how everybody saw that beach scene so differently and the this is what i tell people we can't teach a good idea but we can show you maybe how you might paint it and that's i think just congratulate everybody enter our contest we'll let you know when there's a new one coming a up challenge a new challenge yeah kind of a challenge and i think everybody did great now you'll notice that in the in the um in our reference photo that some of the of the little white circles have about from about if it was a clock from about two o'clock to eleven o'clock going around the top so a little bit during the break, I added those. She added a few of those because there's Just, so many of them. There's so many of them. And, yeah, um, you, you know, you could that. use a pot. Let's see. Could you use a pot? That Posca pen, that one's coming out. So never mind about that. So you can just, I'll just show you how you do it. You just take a little bit of a, a you know, just give it a little hat, right? Like that. Just if it's, you get it too dark, that's all right. Sort of a combination, sort of a magenta color. And you can just... Um, just do a couple, 
like that. Just you don't have to do them all. Just do a couple. Of, uh, give them a little bit of a sh shadow there. Okay, gonna make that one a little smaller. Okay, so that's just something you can do. And again, you don't do them all. Uh, for those of you wondering where the reference photo will be on our, where will it be, John? On our website, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com. So you can kind of look at that and see where you feel like putting a dot. And then, you know, if you need to make a, a little bit more of a, you know, come back and finish them off. Now, we haven't put the um, center of interest one in yet. So we're going to do that next. The star of the show is the not The star of the yet. show. We've done that. So I'm going to take a little purple and magenta. And I want to say that I want him right about here. Uh, I think right about kind of it's going to come in this area, this triangle right here. So I'm going to lower that like this and uh, give, give that a little bit of a base. And let's pull up a stem. I wanted to pull these stems down further than I had them to just wanted to have some going up here like this let's just bring some of those down now do you know how to erase a line if it gets too big did you guys know how to do that know how to erase yeah now watch this suppose i didn't want it that fat because i've dried it rinse wipe swipe i can just come in here with a wet brush and then rinse wipe and then you just come up next to it and thin it up see so if you ever get a line that you feel is too big, just to, just you can do about a quarter of an inch at a time. You need a fairly stiff brush. See? Now you've got a skinny line. So there's when you tell me I can't paint thin lines, yeah, yeah, you can. Of course you can. You can paint anybody can. You can paint thin lines, absolutely. So I want I know that I want something coming up here from the center. And um I want a little bit of white in the middle here, down like this in the center of this one. Okay. Now I'll take our little brush that we make the lines with, and uh, let's see where'd that one go here. And I want to go ahead and just now this is I'll tell you what this is where fluid white comes in. Your fluid, if you don't have any flow paints. You shake them up. You don't need to buy. You can buy little tiny bottles, you know, like, for instance, like this is a little tiny bottle, right? You don't, I mean, John and I have had this for six years and have barely dented it. So I, I would say buy the small ones, you know, uh, but they're well worth having, you know, if you want, because you can tint them. Like, for instance, here's some orange, too. That's kind of a bright orange, but that's all right. Let's just play with that a little bit, right? We've got a little bit of. I want some kind of some of these fluid paints in there because these that they call flows, fluid acrylics, because they make a big difference in what you're painting. And I don't know if I got a lot of different colors. Oh, this is a pretty. This is called primary magenta. Let's just see if we got anything in there. Here, how about that? Okay. So ready for that? So we're gonna try that. Because I mean, if nothing else, now if you're now when you're doing those, you don't need such a wet brush. All right. Look at that, see? So we're going to say that this one is our main focus, and the others are kind of behind there. Here's some of the white. I'm going to have a little more contrast on this one. And what I thought I would do is when I'm going to change this a little bit. Um, I think you'll you'll see why. So I'm going to bring some down this way on this front one. OK. I thought about how I might paint this just a little bit differently. OK. Same thing here. Bring something on. On this side, have maybe this one coming down a little closer. Sounds like fireworks. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, let's take a little bit of the white up here. Now, 
I'm going to tap kind of a center in this one. Neat, huh? So, you know, no, I want a little bit of the brighter orange in this. Let's see, I want some maybe just suggest some of this orange over here just because we can, right? <laughs> and I feel like we could have I'm coming down this way. Like that. And then let's see, where's that magenta one we had? Ooh, that's nice, right? What do you think about using acrylic ink instead of the fluid? Um, you know, I have I don't have any experience with acrylic ink, but I certainly would be willing to give it a try. Why not? You know, you're just what we're trying to do here is loosen up a little bit, yes? I would think the ink would probably work. It may be a little thin, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. So take a little bit of these drops of, I'll tell you, uh, just a little thought here too, is that the, um, this little round brush and the uh, flow acrylics makes great dots. Better than your fingers, even. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, the fingers are being replaced. Uh, well, I'm just saying it. It, it certainly does, right? And uh, do they have a name on their brush? Do they call it a script or a liner or anything? Or they? Oh uh, no, it just came in the kit. Yeah, nondescript. I don't think it's more of a liner brush than a script brush. Scripts are longer and a little bit more tapered. Yeah. And um, let's see, what else could we do here? Could we could we get something a little brighter in here? This one. Could I use the dual tipped water based markers? Um, I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how well they know, would do. I don't know how our cut you know, if they would when you varnish them they'd go away. If they if they dried waterproof, yeah. I'd probably test that on something before I did a big project. Yeah, so you know, you know, you know, people are sitting there saying, "Well, where did you?" I feel these are a little these are a little barren here. Felt like they needed a little something. I'm going to put a little bit of green here. I like the light green. Okay. And maybe we'll take something dark like this purple and put it in the center right here. Just kind of, I haven't dried anything, but you can see where I'm doing it. Kind of going to get that a little bit just darker. Just it right in there. Yeah, so it kind of goes in there and like that. And let's see, something a little bit darker green here. And uh, I want to bring some of these stems back out here like that. And I don't know, just this to me was such a cheery piece. And I don't know if you, for you it's a cheery piece or not, but to me it's a, it's a cheery piece. And um, if I dry it probably one more time, I could, um, uh, I want some, some of these dots a little wider than others, so I'll come back and just brighten a couple, see? Just sometimes white is one of those things where you just need it twice to really get it to be, be, be that. And here's a green, maybe we could make a green dot. I, well, I'm looking at my picture, and there, there's some green dots in here too. You know what I mean? There's, I'm just looking at the, um, at this. And let's see, it's some colors we could do. I'm kind of breaking, breaking some of this up.
And then one thing you can do too is you can do like a little purple dot. For instance, you know, like for instance, I'll do one here, right? Do a little purple dot, and then just do the bottom part inside in the in the in the white, like that too. So you can a couple of different ways you could do those dots where they um, they show up. See, and this one because that pink was all wet, I have to kind of kind of come back and do it again on that center on this one flower. And I think I just want something a little lighter on this. And I wasn't getting as happy with it as um, I wanted it redder. Come here, you. You can mix those flows into other colors, too, by the way. There, that's a little bit brighter right on that side. If and, you are painting a painting and don't want brush lines to show, is more paint needed for them not to show? I think you need a thinner paint. Um, not necessarily more paint. Um, depends on the saw how the saw how soft your brush is, and how where you're blending. A lot of it depends on that. Okay, so I would say that would be probably as much as any as, as, as much as anything. Yeah, let's just pull some of these greens this way. That's what this needed there. I needed some stems going back that way. And the same thing here like that. All right, well, that's kind of, that was what I was thinking of when I thought of this painting. That's kind of what well, I was kind of thinking of. Um, I just thought that would be fun to do something different. When, when, I don't know what you guys think, but I to me it was, a, I don't think we brought any kind of frame over here, did we, John? Uh, the down there at your left leg. Left, right, left. This one? Nope. It's going to be one of the big ones in the back. In back, not here? Not those, those two, the other two. The, the, what? Where you are. Yes. But the bigger frames. That's the, for this this picture? Yes. Really? It's a nine by 12. Okay. Yeah, look at that. All right, so you guys, as everything falls down on the floor. Okay, because come on, that's kind of fun. Yes and yes? Then should you think that, you know, just that's just amazingly too fun? Yes? And I'm just looking at this going, needs one right like that. There you go. And uh, yeah, there you go. Ooh. Kind of looks nice in that gold frame. Kind of looks nice in the gold frame. Now, this was a pretty simple painting, but sometimes it doesn't have to be real complicated to have it be fun to do. And something that's very doable. It's just you kind of need a, you know, a you know, pretty nice brush. And, and I think that um, uh, what you can buy that whole Salvador kit, can't you, John, for under $25 with all the colors and the brushes? Yeah, most of the time. You know, they, sometimes they have sales on it, too. Uh, oh, they do. That's true. That's when we stock up. Yeah, it's just when we stop up. Yeah, so there you go. There's our, there's our, um, my thought about sort of, you know, fantasy, I guess fantasy flowers would be what I would call this. Well, they've been calling it firework flowers. Well, it could be that too, right? Fireworks flowers. Uh, but I love the sort of the rainbow effect of the, of the, um, the, this, the background and all of this in here. And we, we learned a few little techniques and, uh, so you can paint like this. Let me show you one more thing. Back out real far. We've been working on our Wave and Water Masterclass for, you know, for next month. And we're, we try to keep ahead on that. But I just want you to see, we'll show this again sometime. But it's when you really want to get down to learning things to paint, you can go from this, your way back out, to here. And uh, this is uh, 18 by 24. It's uh, one of the, uh, it's a uh, reproduction that I did from one of the old, uh, 
guys that lived in the 1800s. And um, it's our Wave and Water Masterclass, if anybody's ever interested in doing that. So really, you can get a lot of different places in your artwork, but we don't teach you to paint like we. I just try to teach you how to paint. There's a lot of fun ways to do it. And I hope that you guys had fun with this today. And uh, so um, I guess my question of the week is, uh, as we uh, get a little further on down the line, do you do you prefer like a, a simple, like on a on a Monday, do you like something like this, something fast that you can go do? Would you like something more complicated? To, what would you like to see on a Monday? We want to know that, right? I want to thank everybody for all the contributions that came in and give a shout out to our friends and, uh, you know, um, our moderators. Uh, I bet a couple more showed up, didn't they, John? I know Luann showed up. Absolutely. So, she hi, there. Luann. Was she was just hiding. All I did is I went to the participant list and Luann's name was not there at that time, but she is now. All right. So, hi, 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 hi Luann. And I hope everybody's uh, feeling well. Give a shout out to Janie and uh, um, in Canada and, our, and Lynn in Canada. And we got, uh, um, uh, I want to say, give a shout out to Ann White. Uh, some of the artwork she's been sending in for personal art coaching has been fantastic. Uh, Janine over there in India, we want to give a quick hello um, to uh, Eric. Congratulations on all your sales that he's had from his paintings. And at, we just love to hear uh, what you guys are doing and, and how's it going. And uh, I think Lorraine over there in Malta has you know, boy, just knocked it out of the park with her jelly beans. And if you want to see some of the artwork, be sure that you're getting our newsletter, which we call the YouTube Gazette. And we try to give a, a shout out to some of our artists and also show you some paintings that we have. We try to show you the new, you know, some stuff we've done before on YouTube that would be would be in coordination with something like this and, and things that are in the Academy maybe you haven't seen in a while and also what's coming up. So take a look at that. And I want you to have a wonderful week and have fun. Let's just let's just burst into color. What do you think? The uh, word for today is abstract. It is in the description. Oh, abstract. Abstract. Okay. I was going to sign this, but I'm looking for my smaller pen here. Maybe this is it. I want a little signature. Remember, when you're signing something, your frame's going to cut into it. So make sure when you're signing your picture that your frame doesn't cover it up. I always like to leave a little finger's worth of edge around the edge so that I don't don't lose my signature. So make sure you guys are doing that. And uh, here we go. I'll sign I'll this right here. put it in the frame and then sign it. Yeah, you can put it in the frame and then sign it. So you kind of know, right? There you go. So that there it is. How f I hope you had fun with this. And uh, happy burst of color, you guys. And happy uh, holidays for those of you who are get catching us on Easter next Sunday. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.